Christian Missionary Fellowship International. Christian Missionary Fellowship International is a spiritual movement. A spiritual movement is a movement that God brings into existence by the Holy Spirit with a specific purpose. A purpose which is maintained as long as the Holy Spirit rules it and coordinates it in total liberty. Christian Missionary Fellowship International is a movement of people who are committed to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and live in total obedience to him in everything. It is a movement of people who walk with God and serve the Lord from the overflow of their personal relationship with God. A movement of people who seek to be filled with the Holy Spirit on a daily basis. Christian Missionary Fellowship International is a movement committed to the winning of souls the making of disciples and the planting of churches in each locality and in each nation of the world. It is a movement committed to the raising, training and sending of missionaries to all nations for the salvation of the people in those nations. Christian Missionary Fellowship International has been called to make her contribution to the God-promised world revival through teaching the revived saints, daily dynamic encounters with God, the making of disciples, and accountability. Having received a God-given goal, she is committed to the pursuit and accomplishment of the goal, which is to preach the gospel in the power of the Holy Spirit to 10 billion people in our generation and to bring one billion people to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The one billion people will be discipled to obey Christ in all things by the year 2065 AD. The desire to get the gospel to those in our generation was the overflow of the knowledge of the atoning death of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross and the power of the gospel to save to the utmost. Christian Missionary Fellowship International is the overflow of the apostolic ministry of Professor Zacharias Tani Ifomo, the founding team leader of this movement. Who was Professor Zacharias Tani Ifomo? Professor Zacharias Stanley Fomo was the founding team leader of Christian Missionary Fellowship International. He was a professor of organic chemistry in the University of Yaoundé 1, Cameroon, and a holder of the Doctor of Science, DSC degree, awarded by the University of Durham. Professor Zacharias Stanley Fomo known by the Brethren in Christian Missionary Fellowship International as Brother Zach, was born in Cameroon on the 20th of June, 1945. He received Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior on the 13th of June, 1956, after reading a tract titled, Someone Died for You. Having been brought to the Lord Jesus through a tract, the power of the printed page as an indispensable tool to take the gospel to people on planet Earth was permanently on his heart. Major steps in my spiritual progress were tied to the printed page. Uh, la plupart des étapes 
majeur dans mon progrès spirituel était lié ou sont liés à la page imprimée. Before I turned 11, Avant que je n'ai eu 11 ans, I was given that track, someone died for you. Euh, ce traité-là m'avait été donné. Quelqu'un est mort pour toi. And that's how I came to my with the Lord Jesus Christ. Et c'est comme ça que j'étais venu à ma rencontre avec le Seigneur Jésus-Christ. When I was 21, Lorsque j'avais 21 ans, I read the book. J'avais lu un livre. Go for me to China. Va pour moi en Chine. It was a testimony of Hudson Taylor, the famous missionary. C'était le témoignage de Houston Taylor, le fameux missionnaire. That's how the mission vision was born in my heart. Et c'est comme cela que la vision missionnaire naquit dans mon cœur. That same year. Et cette même année là. I read a book, Power Through Prayer. J'avais lu un livre, Puissance par la prière. And that's how I began to learn to pray. Et c'est ainsi que je commençais à apprendre à prier. Every step in my life. Chaque étape dans ma vie. Has been tied to a new breakthrough through the printed page. A été lié à une nouvelle percée à travers la page imprimée. Um, If I were not the leader of the work, si je n'étais pas le leader de l'œuvre, I would be a bookseller. Je serais vendeur de livres. He later consecrated himself to the Lord Jesus and to his service by an act of absolute surrender of his life to God on the 1st of October 1966 as a university student in Furabe College, Freetown of the University of Sierra Leone. It was after this experience of absolute surrender to God that he began to love the Lord deeply and became burdened for the perishing souls of men. Listen, Brian. If somebody goes to hell and cries from hell, Und von der von der Hölle schreit. I'm in hell because the form uses that he could have sold and invested in my salvation. Und sagt, uh, ich bin in in der Hölle, weil uh, the form eine 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 Hemd behalten hat, die er hätte verkaufen können, um meine Seele zu retten. This is my only pair of shoes. I have only a pair of shoes. So these uh, pair of shoes. But the shoes that I've come have sold them. The shoes that I've bekommen have, have I have sold them. To invest the money quickly into the precious shoes of men. Um, das Geld so schnell wie möglich in uh, in das Evangelium zu in, uh, zu investieren und in uh, in die Seele der sterbenden Menschen zu investieren. Listen, brother. If someone allowed you to go to hell, hör zu, Geschwister, wenn jemand dir erlaubt, in die Hölle zu gehen, so that the gospel in the Bible is true. Also, in dem er so, also, dass wenn das Evangelium dich nicht erreicht, so that you become a candidate for hell. Und dadurch bist du eine, also eine Kandid, also eine also dann bist du, damit, damit bist du in der Höhle gegangen. Also deshalb bist du in der Höhle gegangen. Oh. What would you think of that person? Was würdest du von diesem uh, jemand dann denken? Says I love Jesus so much that he allowed you to go to hell. Würdest du denn sagen, ich habe Jesus so sehr geliebt, dass er dich in der Höhle geschickt hat? Because he was eating according to his rank. Weil der hat gegessen nach seine äh, seine äh, sozialen Klasse also Dressing according to his rank. sich angezogen nach also äh, äh, entsprechend seine sozialen äh, Klasse also seine sozialen Zugehörigkeit so that you could und so bist du in der Höhle gekommen ist das richtig ist das richtig
that you should eat comfortably so that someone places. That's too uh, gemütlich. J'ai prié pour lui pendant trois mois, en 1963, sans me connaître. Parce que j'étais à une réunion, la conférence des églises de toute l'Afrique en Ouganda. Et j'ai trouvé le pays très beau. Et les étudiants étaient engagés à programmer l'évangile. Nos étudiants camerounais, quand ils allaient en Europe, ils devenaient incrédules. J'étais très impressionnée de voir des étudiants qui étaient des pasteurs, des enseignants de la parole. Et j'ai fait là-bas en Ouganda trois mois. Je priais, Seigneur, envoie un Camerounais ici, à l'université de Makerere. Je suis sûre que si un Camerounais vient ici, il va rentrer avec quelque chose au Cameroun. As a doctorate student at the University of Makerere, Kampala, Uganda, he was faced with the need to be filled with the Holy Spirit as a prerequisite laid down by the Lord for effective soul winning. Brother Zach turned to God in prayer, seeking to be filled with the Holy Spirit. On the 24th of October, 1970, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. After the Holy Spirit had come upon him, he had unusual liberty in prayer and a burden for the loss that moved him to the campus of the University of Makerere and to the streets of Kampala on personal evangelism. When the Holy Spirit came upon me, when the Holy Spirit came upon me, the gift of evangelism was imparted to me. The don of evangelist m'avait été imparted. Because I went to Kampala. Parce que j'étais allé à l'institut de Kampala. J'étais allé sur les rues de Kampala. Three, three or four times a week. Trois ou quatre fois par semaine. It's from 7 p.m. to about 9 or 10 or 11. De 19 h jusqu'à environ 21 h ou 20 ou 22 h ou alors 23 h. Jusqu'à ce que j'avais conduit environ 500 personnes au Seigneur. J'ai parlé de comment je courais après les pécheurs. Quand le Saint-Esprit était venu sur moi, j'aimais déjà Dieu. Mais il y a eu un amour fou pour Dieu. Le jour où le Saint-Esprit était venu sur moi, j'étais allé prêcher. Et jusqu'à ce j'étais revenu, j'avais eu ma première nuit de prière seule. Particulièrement quand le Saint-Esprit est descendu sur lui, c'est là où il a reçu le ministère d'intercession. Comme il a dit, il y avait des moments, en 1970, après que le Saint-Esprit soit descendu sur lui, il passait 8 heures en prière d'affilée et sans se fatiguer, il ne se rendait même pas compte. Il a raconté une instance où il priait, il a prié pendant des heures. Son camarade, un de ses amis est venu s'agenouer avec lui. Son ami a prié deux heures de temps et il s'est en allé et il ne s'est même pas rendu compte tellement il était emporté dans la prière. J'avais grandi rapidement dans le Seigneur avec le Saint-Esprit venant sur moi. J'ai commencé à chasser les démons. I remember in one school. Je me souviens dans une dans un établissement. One of the believers, because we had Christian groups in the schools. Et parce que nous avions des groupes chrétiens dans les établissements. He went on holiday. Un des croyants était allé en vacances. The father took him and sacrificed a goat. Et son père l'avait pris et avait sacrifié une chèvre. So he would be intelligent. Pour qu'il soit intelligent. Came back to the school mad. Il était revenu à l'école étant fou. J'étais le dirigeant euh, non officiel des jeunes. Parce qu'en fait, en, en réalité, on, on ne rend pas ministère par nomination. Mais 
Mais les frères m'avaient écrit, demandant que je vienne rapidement. Parce que ce gars-là était en pleine crise de folie, voilà, enfermé dans une chambre. Quand je suis arrivé là-bas, je l'ai amené dans l'appartement aux renseignants où, où je vivais. Je me suis battu avec les démons pendant deux heures sans relâche. Il le garçon est tombé à terre, délivré. Et moi, je suis tombé au sol, ex, ex, exténué. J'ai commencé à avoir faim de Dieu. Et le ministère a grandi. Il a, depuis ce temps, out recklessly into God's service until he went to be with the Lord. In 2009. On the 3rd of May 1975, in Kampala, Uganda, having obtained a PhD degree in organic chemistry, Brother Zach had to come back home to Cameroon. Bishop Festus Kivenjere of the Anglican Communion prayed for him, commissioning him to go and preach the gospel in Cameroon. He was thus set apart as a missionary to Cameroon and sent with the following prophetic words by the bishop. God, when Brother Zach goes to Cameroon, let every Cameroonian say to him, you owe me Jesus. On the 11th of May, 1975, Brother Zach left Uganda and arrived in Yaoundé as a man sent by God, a missionary with a commission to give Jesus to all Cameroonians. On the day of his arrival, he preached to a young woman who was at the time a student in the Higher Teachers Training College in Yaoundé, Cameroon, and led her to the Lord. And she has abided in the faith until this day. On the night of that same day, he wrote an evangelistic tract titled, How to Know Jesus Christ. This became his first evangelistic tool. From that day onward, Brother Zach's ministry in Cameroon took off. He used every opportunity he had to preach the gospel. And whenever he preached, he preached with all his might. A man had is an abomination to God. Lord, gay together now, it's an abomination. He's cut out the pride. He's cut out the pride of us and we don't totally do nothing. He displaced the forgiver. And then it's a nail. Because the Lord Jesus, because the Lord Jesus cannot take residence in the world. The Lord Jesus cannot take residence in the world. You preach in Yaoundé in different denominations. Baptists. Roman Catholic, Presbyterian, and in the rest of Cameroon, from one locality to another. There was no time when Brazak found that some program somewhere for so winning was difficult, or some program somewhere for so winning was costly, either to him or to him physically or financially. He had a passion for so winning. Wherever there was possibility for Brazak to go and preach the gospel, even if you get to the place and find out one person has organized for ten people to gather or for five people to gather, Brazak would pay the price to go there. If only one person would believe, he come back rejoicing. You can be able to count about one thousand localities of Brazak visit. If it was not what was ahead, he would not take the risk of driving on such terrible road where we. I mean, after Ambam, my youth there, it was Ambam, we spent ab about a hundred meters inside mud, driving inside water. I remember the moment that we went there, because the, 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 the ferry would not carry our car, we had to hire small boats, small canoe, 
in order that Brazza would enter with little children pedaling him to cross the river. By the time of Brother Zach's going to be with the Lord in 2009, he had gone out of his base in Yaoundé on over 700 missionary journeys in Cameroon that ranged from one day to three weeks to preach the gospel and to edify the saints. He had preached in over 1,000 localities in Cameroon sent over 200 national missionaries into many localities in Cameroon and planted over 1,300 churches in the various administrative provinces of Cameroon. C'était à l'époque où l'œuvre commençait au Cameroon. Dans le Fraisac allait dans les villes voisines du pays pour implanter les églises. Et j'avais le privilège Premièrement, de l'accompagner dans ces différentes villes. Donc c'est ainsi que nous sommes allés, que nous allions en Balmayo, que nous allions à Obala, que nous allions à Bafia, à Douala, presque toutes les églises à l'entour de Yaoundé, je sais comment elles ont été implantées. En Anga et Boko, je sais par exemple qu'à Obala, c'était si violent que parfois on prêchait les portes et les fenêtres fermées. Je me souviens un jour, on était à l'intérieur au début et le frère a prêché. Il y a un caillou qui est passé par la fenêtre et a frappé l'un de nous, ici à la poitrine. À une autre réunion, toujours à Obala, c'était le point le plus violent. On avait fermé les portes et les fenêtres. Les populations étaient dehors, criant, ne voulant pas qu'on prêche. Et à un moment, nous nous sommes rendus compte que tout le monde toussait dans la salle. Et maintenant, on a dû ouvrir le porte. Qu'est-ce qui s'était passé Ils avaient écrasé le piment et avaient soufflé le piment sec dans la salle pour nous sortir de là. At his base in Yaoundé, he planted and built a mega church with his co-workers, which, at the time of his going to build the Lord, had reached a steady membership of about 12,000. 